most commercial algal farming uses raceway ponds with paddles. Few operators are required, but the site preparation costs are really high. Ponds require expensive flat land. They must be shallow for good light penetration, but that makes them too shallow for effective aeration by bubbling, and there's only one illuminated surface. Your special culture is at high risk in an open pond. An enclosed system is much more likely to go for extended periods without the entry of unwanted organisms. Some very clever designs have been proposed, but notice that all of them seem quite expensive. Spain has a leadership position for closed systems, but Benjamin points out correctly that projected capital cost is way too high. These photos show small pilot farms. Frames and pipes are just too darned expensive. Let's see how to fabricate an affordable photobioreactor. Transparent plastic comes as 200 foot rolls of a flattened tube. We will cut a 20 foot section. It is mounted and supported on a pipe inside the tube. A shows the flattened tube and B is a side view with algae inside. C is a front view with the sides closed by welding and with numerous small welds to combat bulging and to distribute rising bubbles from the gassing system. Clever cutting and welding to form the gassing system eliminates costly piping. Now we hang the whole works on the perforated gas exit pipe and support it with an inexpensive roof truss purchased from a lumber yard. Two bags can hang from one truss. There seems to be no other scheme that does not require expensive flat land. These bags hang from poles and cables on land that need not be level. Manual valves for thousands of photobioreactors require too much labor, but automatic valves and their systems are expensive. Our sun valves reduce the flow of nutrient medium and the gas when the sun is not shining. For experiments with bags, it is more convenient to use bolts and washers instead of welding. This video clip shows how nicely the dimples distribute bubbles. Frames and pipes in greenhouses face severe economic hurdles, but cheap biobags truly show promise. Your comments would be most welcome. Thanks for watching.